Hello there, welcome back to Connor. Last time, well, I messed up bad at Claire Warren England. I thought I could win, took a bunch of loans, and the end result was that I have a lot of debt to pay, and I didn't actually gain anything, but I didn't actually lose anything either. I just had to give up my, my deals with Scotland, France, Burgundy, and pay a couple of ducats in, uh, in war reparations. So basically, uh, the only thing that I lost from that war was a bunch of money, which uh, kind of pisses me off, but I can live with it. This episode will mostly be uh, at the very much, let's see, a veneration of relics. From the highest to very low, the people believe that the veneration of will allows the viewer to reduce their time in purgatory. I treat the eyes opposing this practice have been found nailed to a church door with a very substantial relic collection. The opponents of this practice are hurting the unity of the one true path of the salvation, the holy, universal, and apostolic church, or perhaps they are right. I just bought a vial of milk of the Virgin Mary. Well, we'll take that one. It's uh, it's basically cheaper. I won't have to deal with any rebels, and we also pay back another loan. So as I was saying here, uh, at the beginning of this one will be me paying back loans, and other than that, I'll probably not do too much. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Scotland declared war upon uh, England here. This is kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure that they're allied with uh, with France, and. I'm a little bit unsure if the Scots actually, or if the French actually will join the Scots. It doesn't seem like they did. Or well, I'm not completely sure yet. Might be that they actually, well, they did actually call them in. So I'll actually have to keep an eye on this. Once again, I'm not in a position where I can actually do anything, which is kind of annoying. But uh, it's at least a possibility here. And as you can see, I have 10 loans left, so I'm not uh, completely... Uh, stuck, but I have taken a point to diplomatic diplomacy tech. Didn't actually give me anything. A little bit of uh, of naval morale won't be important at all. And also taking a military idea. Well, a little bit to recover morale, but not uh, much more than that. So uh, I can definitely uh, definitely live with it as things are now. But uh, for the time being, as you know, still working on those loans, and we'll have to consider once we actually save it up, I guess a considerable amount of money this time, around 500 dukes or something around that, then we'll uh, then we'll consider it, unless we actually end up uh, end up gaining some sort of uh, huge advantage here, if, uh, if the French and Scottish forces thoroughly humiliate uh, England. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. I've been tech 6 on the reach, and this is pretty good, we now have an increase in production efficiency by 10%, and I can now build farm estates. The increase in production efficiency will boost my, well, admittedly not by much, but it will boost my income a little bit. It's uh, 5 ducats a month now, and that means I can basically pay back a loan every uh, 3 months. So that's good. We'll also be renewing our claims, just in case we end up in a war with them, in this case Cornwall. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the Scots can actually beat them back. And if, if they can, it'll probably take Aberdeen, uh, Cumbria, Northumberland, and if they do, that would actually be better for the uh, balance I guess but there's also another possibility here and that is if the English take a uh, a province or two from uh, from the Scots then I definitely will be able to vassalize them if I should get myself into war with them uh, in other words if the French actually break their alliance one way of doing that is kind of declaring a war on the English bringing in only the French then declare war on the Scots trying to get myself uh, cheaply out of the peace deal with uh, with uh, with England that is a possibility We'll have to consider that, but as you can see, it's just four loans left, so I'll I'll deal with them, and then we'll see what we'll do. But as you can see, England is winning this war rather rather comfortably. This is kind of problematic here. England went for a straight out annexation of Scotland, and that puts me in a very very tricky situation. The funny thing here is also Austria is currently at war with Switzerland, Ulm, Baden, Trier, Burgundy, Milan, Frankfurt, the Palatinate, Bohemia, Ferrara, and Würzburg. And, well, they are allied with England, but I'm a little bit unsure if England actually were drawn into that war. They were. So, what I actually can do now is use my ships to keep an eye on the English forces. And if they actually are to depart for the mainland, that would open up a possibility of an attack by me. That is definitely a possibility. The only problem here is that the French won't actually help in that attack due to the fact that, no, 60,000 men is standing in Scotland. So I definitely will have to save up quite a bit of cash if I were to uh, to try and do anything here. On a positive note though, I do have, uh, well I guess you could say, completely paid back all my loans. So I no longer have any problems there at least. Uh, I have an inf inflation, a level of 1%, so that's not too bad either. And well, we'll have to see. If the English actually ends up moving their troops to, uh, 
to a better position will definitely go for the attack here. And thus, if I were to take, I think these two here, I can release England, I can release Northumbria and Scotland, and then use um, use those two counties, basically, or countries in this case, to my advantage. Apparently, yeah, the quest was so similar that I thought it was the same country first, but uh, it wasn't. Uh, luckily for me. So as I'm saying here, we'll be uh, we'll be keeping an eye on situation, and hopefully we can maybe make a make a game from this. A new king, uh, the 17th actually, O'Connor Don. 3 2 3, not bad. The air is uh, crappy though, because he is not even close to uh, to the level that you'd get with the Republic. So, you are hereby promoted to general of, uh, of the forces, and hopefully, you die a brave death on the battlefield. Well, I can't really say that, but um, it's what I'm hoping for. As I said, we'll have to see how we'll actually go ahead and deal with England, but for now, they do have the upper hand, and. I might actually have to try and go after Brittany or something like that in order to survive here. I might actually go for exploration ideas next, try and build a colonial empire kind of like I did in the Spain game. That is also a possibility. So we'll definitely have to uh, have to consider our options here and fleeing to the new world might definitely be a possibility here, especially since we are closing in on Noble Republic tech. So uh, I'll have to see if I do get a potentially colonies in North America. I most likely aim to take this area here before the English, just to uh, just to make sure that I actually end up with uh, with uh, the colonization rights, I guess, to North America. Might even go for Bermuda. We'll have to we'll have to see how it works out. But as things are now, it's definitely a possibility that I'll be trying to uh, trying to go the colonial route. We'll uh, we'll have to see what I actually end up with. As you can see, we have had an upgrade in both admin tech and also in uh, military tech. We now have a new type of infantry and we can build star forts along with a new idea group thanks to that admin tech and the Noble Republic. We will be upgrading our infantry and we will also take the exploration ideas with the intent of trying to get to North America first, colonize it, most likely try and go after the natives, in this case uh, Iroquois, Shawnee, uh, the Incas, the Mayas, uh, Aztec, whoever survives out there, and we'll be taking them down to basically for two reasons. First of all, I'll be attacking them for gold, and as you can see, I've taken the first exploration idea already, colonies plus one, and I can also get Irish endurance, which gives minus ten percent to land attrition. The next thing will allow me to get myself a uh, a uh, conquistador and an explorer to basically find a new world. And that'll be interesting. But uh, the main problem will be when I actually have to start transport troops over there. If I have to keep my troops in a new world, then I'll definitely end up with a problem in terms of uh, in terms of fighting capabilities in Europe itself. As it is now, I'm pretty sure England won't actually do any attacks to, against me, thanks to the fact that I'm allied with Castile and France. But the uh, the alliance with Castile can very fast change. I think if I'm very unlucky here. Let's say that me and still get the colonial border, then they'll probably hate my guts because we both have colonial interests and they'll probably go after me to try and directify or basically just take my colony. So I'll need to keep relations high. Hopefully if I get long time friend or something like that, we'll be able to uh, to keep it on our side here. As you can see, if I can have these guys brought in, I'm pretty sure we can deal with Europe. But for the time being, it seems that, uh, well that's kind of weird. That Austria is definitely the big boy in the whole Roman Empire, and thus I could end up in trouble with them since England are actually allied with them. What I'm hoping for is that England breaks their alliance with at least Austria. If Portugal, if the Portugal alliance breaks, let's say that, um, let's say that Castile gets them in a lucky union, or I get Castile in a lucky union, as it might seem. Probably not though. No. And also, of course, Castile has a 666 monarch, and that is basically something that they should not have if I want to have colonial. Uh, colonial gains because well if they have a good monarch they'll basically be getting the text before me the ideas and all that and thus I'll definitely end up in trouble before I, I like to admit so for the time being I'll be just be saving my money biding my time see if England ended up in a bad spot or send the troops overseas something along those lines and if not then well I know what to do but for the time being I'll also be saving up for as you know the explorer and then we'll start exploring, see if Greenland has been taken. If not, we'll probably colonize that ourselves. And then we'll uh, go on to colonizing Canada and the east coast of America. Hopefully we can get most of it for, my, for ourselves, but uh, it's it's really a, a, uh, a bet here. And Hungary has a passive war, which probably means that Austria will take advantage and take, uh, and take some land there, which is bad. 
But as I said, for the time being, we'll just be saving up money and uh, preparing to uh, to launch an expedition to uh, to uh, to the New World. We'll see how it goes. Well, this sucks. My king, England, declared war upon their new enemy, Wales, decided to reconquest Aster Castle's Spelline. So, this is virtually just England alone right now against them. I have no idea if the, uh, the French actually will join, but Castile has a lot of fleet uh, troops and all. We actually have a bigger combined fleet than the English, but I'm pretty sure we won't actually be able to beat it. And I also have some issues on the maintenance scale of both army and, uh, and fleet here. So what I'll be trying to do most likely is try to flee over to Norfolk, train mercenary army. We'll basically be doing the same thing we did last time, but hope that we can actually win this war. I have not had any preparation this time, so it's definitely a, a long shot here, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario, I'll lose a lot of money, but still I'll be able to most likely create a colony in New World. So on that scope, it doesn't really matter. But uh, we'll see if we can get the, uh, the French here to do some helping for me. They'll at least siege these provinces. And since the aim... English Navy is currently split, uh, for the time being at least. I might get the, um, the how should I put this, the uh, others might get a lucky hit on it for me. We'll have to see. I also hire another general to see if, nope, nope, not a good, not any good generals either. So I'm probably screwed in that department. But I'll try to just flee to Norfolk, uh, basically set up a defensive there, train merc mercenaries, all that. Hopefully get a bigger army than them. We'll, uh, we'll have to see if uh, if I actually pulls, uh, pull it off or not, but uh, as things are now, I kind of doubt it. So uh, I'll just give it a go and we'll see how, how it all turns out. Well, we c might have been a little bit lucky. As you can see, it seems that Austria hasn't joined, positive for me. Portugal, Norway and Brittany has joined though. But here is the real fun part. Brittany and Portugal won't arrive. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Castile and... France will deal with that and also the English attacked me in this battle and they're currently suffering quite the heavy losses but there is a minus to this as you can see there is a 10,000 English army coming straight for me again the Wales still has their army so as long as I can just ride this out in terms of taking loans hiring more mercs uh, all that I'd basically I think be able to play this one kind of safely but it all depends on what the English do so for the time being, I'll just allow my mercs to be recruited, and hopefully I can, well, make it somehow into a victory. I do doubt it though, as you can see, I do have quite the high expense side right now, and I'm pretty sure that the English forces number about 20,000. Let's take a quick look here on England. 20,000, so we basically have even armies, it's basically up to the battlefield. So I think I'll actually hunt them down, because as you can see, this army at full strength it's, well, a little bit bigger, but not not really bigger, but we'll see how it goes. I'll see if I can hunt down the English army and if we can turn this into uh, into a victory or not. As you can see, the English attacked me in the mountains, and unfortunately, morale is lower on my part. And they also have, well, some better units, they actually have cannons. They only got a crossing uh, uh, minus modifier here. And of course, the Wales guys will most likely appear a little bit too late. No, they made it in time. But even so, I don't think they can turn the tide of this battle. What we can do, of course, is then uh, take some more loans. That is basically what my golden, well, I don't know, snitch will be. Take loans, hire mercs, uh, repeat. Probably go bankrupt, though. I have no idea what it actually does, so it will be fun to find out. Uh, I, it probably won't be fun, that's the worst part. But as of now, we'll retreat back to Norfolk, and hopefully the Wales, uh, or Wales army will do the same. Uh, I'll probably be able to regenerate most of my troops in Norfolk itself, so it shouldn't actually be an issue on on that on that scale at least. And I should most likely be able to sooner or later get some help here. As you can see, the English army are, are attacking again, this time with lower numbers. So I think I can actually ride this one into a victory, and I can. So we are making some sort of gains here, but the 14,000 army that's currently approaching is not a good thing for me. It's at full morale. How how high are these guys? 142 out of maximum. So that's quite bad. And my only hope right now is the Wales army actually marches up and helps me. If n if they do not, then I'm basically uh, screwed. But at least the sieges of English controlled territory here comes along nicely. It's kind of a waste of manpower to have those men <laughs> that many men in Navarra. I preferred if they actually siege the Portuguese provinces so I could make some uh, some sort of deal with them. 
But for the time being, I'll simply have to try and boost my armies as much as possible and see if we can if we can make anything out of this war at all. I kind of doubt it, but I can at least hope. So we'll see how it turns out. The English are not able to push their uh, their claims. So for the time being, I'll just place my guys in Essex and try to have them start some sieges. We'll see if I can if I can win it or not. But that'll unfortunately have to wait until next time. If if we can actually win this, I would be definitely be glad. But uh, I kind of feel I won't actually be able to get anything, won't I? Nope. Nothing really at all. I'll have to siege anything if I want something. And I definitely want Asia, Cumbria, or Lothian and Cumbria. Because of the fact that it'll split the country in two. They will not be getting military access from, my, from those two vassals. At least I hope not. And in the next war I can thoroughly cripple them by basically handing back the last vassal lands. So we'll see if that plan actually works out. But for the time being, not really that much I can do otherwise than... Just hope that my bank will promise me enough loans. Let's see here. How many loans can <clears throat> how many loans can I take? 102 loans. I currently have 36. And that is bad enough. Uh, Brittany will pay 51 ducats. I'll accept that for now. Potentially here I can hope that the French troops will decide to try and sneak their way over to uh, over to well England. But uh, as I said, I kinda doubt it. And hopefully, I'll have the English attack me because that is actually, I think, the entirety of the English force. No, they do have quite a lot more than that. So, hopefully, uh, they'll be chasing the way. I don't get how the AI actually works now because they could have saved themselves basically by running onto my army and combined, we would have had a chance of fighting them. But instead, they decided to run off on their own. And yes, I need to force a couple of decisive battles here if I am to win this, but as things are standing now, I could potentially just try and wipe peace out. But with my number of loans, I honestly don't want to. So we'll see how, how it turns out next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise Chris, and anything you feel like, and hopefully I can sort of salvage this uh, next time. I'll see you around. Bye.